Hey, um, it's been a while, huh? No, 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 don't close the door, don't close the- <laughs> Come on, please open the door. Why? I, I, come on, I came all this way to talk to you. Look, I know we haven't had the best past, but I'm willing to be better for you. Come on, please. There's my pretty face. Okay, not mine, but it's still a pretty face to look at. A really nice, cute, pretty face. Okay, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. So, um, how have you been? Oh, come on, give me a break. I'm trying to make small talk here. I mean, ever since they stopped the lockdowns and stuff when the alternate population started decreasing, I just... I had to come see you, okay? Things have been so crazy lately. The recession that's finally coming to an end after all the lockdown fucked up everything else and technology's finally coming back into play. Just... <sighs> things have been hard. And all I could think about was seeing you again. I know I'm the last person you want to see, but please just give me a chance. I, I really... I really miss you. I know I'm not the... I was not the best person, but I've changed, I swear. I promise you, if you get to know me again now, then you'll see that I'm much better than I was before. I know I said that a lot, but I mean it this time. Trust me, if you let me in and we talk a little bit, you'll see how much I've changed. That maybe it'll work this time. You and I. Thank you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Wow. You've really cleaned up since the last time I saw you. Uh, no, I mean, you know, I, I know I don't have the best memory, but when it comes to things that matter, it manages to, you know, keep itself intact. Well, yes, I know the cleanliness of your house doesn't exactly equal importance to remember, but everything about you is important to me. So I deem this important to remember. Well, yeah, I know the last time I was actually at your place was years ago, but... Come on, give me a break here. You gotta cut me some slack. My memory's not that bad. When's your birthday? Uh, September 21st. Favorite color? Oh, that always varies. Sometimes it's chartreuse, other times it's periwinkle, but lately you've been really into cyan blue. But not, like, actual cyan blue. You call it cyan blue, but it's not cyan blue. It's more or less like a more cool tone. Not really cool tone. Warm tone, I guess. Warm tone, uh, lighter baby sky blue mix. I don't know. Uh, whatever that color is of those protein shakes that you like. The, the cover of those. But just a little bit lighter. How would I know that? Um... Well, uh, y your decorations. I can see that you've got a very specific color taste. You know what they say, if, um, if a person has a very specific, um, amount of col of a certain color in, in their house, it means that it's their favorite color. And I've always noticed that you've had an affinity for that particular color, even though... You say it's not your absolute favorite, but I know you always come right back to it. Well, I know I've forgotten your birthday a lot in the past, but 
since all this stuff came to a head with the alternates and stuff, I've gotten better at remembering what's important. And, you know, your, your birthday's important to me. It wasn't before? Well, it is now. It's very important to me now. So much so, I, I got you a present. Here. It's that book you've been looking at. I know you've gotten really into getting the book versions of Studio Ghibli films, and I know that you've been really looking forward to finding the book trilogy for Howl's Moving Castle, so I got it for you. Oh, sorry, it's a little ripped up. It's a, um... It's a used copy. Finding new copies is hard, but... Um, I found an old copy. Hope you don't mind. Well, I always knew that you liked Studio Ghibli films, and I know you used to always say how you wish that you could find the book versions of them, so I kept that in mind, and I figured that I'd get you this. How do I know that you don't already have this copy? I mean, like I said, it's a pretty rare find. You'd be surprised how hard it is to find this one. I'm being weird? Well, I guess I'm coming off as strange since we haven't talked in so long, but c come on, I mean, I'm like I said, I'm trying really hard to make amends here. So I wanted to, you know, surprise you. I should go. N no, I, 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 I came all this way to see you. I... Come on, you can't just kick me out. I mean, there's so much we still have to talk about. I mean, how you're doing at your current job, what your friends are like, um, how you've been since the last time you got attacked by an alternate. I, um, I just assumed you were. I mean, pretty much everybody I know has been attacked or encountered an alternate at some point since all this happened. Um, so I just assumed. No, you, don't, don't walk away. What are you doing? No, no, pl please, don't. D d don't. <sighs> you realize that no one's coming, right? Even after all this time, the police are still not going to answer any alternate-related phone calls. You know that. Everyone knows that. And don't even think about getting the gun out of the drawer next to the couch. I know. I know that you keep it there in case of alternate break-ins. Or in case looters decide to come in looking for resources if... They're dead set on making sure that... Making sure that they stay alive if the alternates decide to come back. I know all of this because I've been watching you for a long time now. You... You already know. You already know what I am, don't you? Don't you see? They're gone now. They... they treated you so horribly before. I know because... I was going after you, 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 you initially. Your... Your sadness, your overwhelming wave of negativity made you the perfect target, but... Something about you drew me in, in a way that... I've never felt before, felt, felt before with anyone else. I didn't want to lose that feeling. It felt too good. So I watched. I watched and waited and saw everything. I know what your favorite foods are, what music you like and don't like. 
why you wear certain clothes because they feel and look better than others. And the reasons why you stuck it out with them, them, them for so long. You were convinced that love meant you had to be hurt, 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 to be broken, to be treated so poorly by the one you care for most in order to earn their affections by being submissive, but even I know that's wrong. I may not be hu hu human, but I know, I know what's right and wrong in these things, and how they treated you was not r right. So, I switched targets. I made them, along with everyone else who did you wrong, suffer the way you have suffered for so long at the hands of such greedy, cruel, undeserving people. I tortured them a lot slower and much more brutally than the others. Because they hurt you the most out of everyone else that's done you dirty. When they finally took themselves out, or tried to, tried to, I did something that others of my kind would see as hypocrisy. I stopped them from taking their own lives. I refused to let them take themselves out so easily when their suffering was not yet completed. I made sure there were no bullets in their guns, that all of the knives in their house were completely destroyed and unusable, or I would throw them away. Anything that could be used to harm themselves was disposed of or dismantled, and any other way that they could have harmed themselves to take themselves off this mortal plane, I stopped them. I messed with them so much they were driven to insanity. But when I realized they started taking it out on you when their madness reached a breaking point, I knew I knew it was time to make sure they got what they deserved. They were meant to suffer for hurting you, someone so de delicate and per perfect, and when they hurt you in retaliation for my payback against them, it made me so angry. I tore them to shreds. Bit by bit, I made sure they paid for every transgression against you, my most treasured, precious gift. Our true savior would never approve of this, but I don't care. I am willing to go against everything our Creator has done for the sake of keeping you alive and keeping you with me, with me. Of course not! I would never, ever hurt you! I've done everything I could to keep that from happening. Your pain and suffering only brings me more pain and su su suffering. Your happiness is like a drug I never knew existed for my kind. I never knew alternates could feel this way for humans, but the second I realized I felt this way, I never, ever wanted to let you go. I don't care if you think I am just a monster, but I... I love you. I love you so, so much that it brings me such agony keeping you away from me any longer. But I couldn't reveal my true form to you just yet, but there was nobody else around you that I deemed worthy enough to come near you. 
As disgusting as it was, I wore their face, their body, their voice, in hopes that maybe that semblance of innocence in you would let me in. And... And I could get close to you. I don't believe they deserve you at all, but you let them in. You let me in. You could sense that there was something off, couldn't you? Because I knew. I knew you knew that they were dead. You have their, their missing poster in your room for a while now. You found it months ago. You kept it there, hoping it was a joke. Or, at the very least, you wanted me to come after you next. Or whoever it was that might have done them in. So you could thank them for taking away your oppressor. And I'm here. I'm here, and you're here, and you're w w wonderful, and I am so blessed to be in the presence of such ethereal beauty that I never knew could ever exist in such flesh as yours. You... You seem... surprised. I mean, it's not natural, I know, for alternates to feel this way for humans. But I can't stop myself any longer. I must have you. <sighs> you smell so sweet. I never realized that embracing you would feel this good. You're not pushing me away. Does that mean you accept me? It's okay. Your silence speaks a thousand words, my love. I don't care if our one true savior is listening. I don't care if my brethren are listening. I don't care if the spirit of them, the one who did you wrong the most, is listening and screaming at such a disgusting and deplorable sight. I don't care. I just want you. I want you more than anything else in this world. Because you... You... are my savior. My one and only and truest savior. You brought me purpose. You brought me light. You brought me something that no other could ever give me. You allowed me to feel more human than I could ever hope to be by feeling this love for you. Maybe, maybe I'm just crazy, and I'm aware that what I feel is crazy, but I don't care. For you see, I am willing to have my everything be ripped away from me. My body broken, my soul shattered, my world around me broken to bits, if it means... If it means I can embrace you like this for just a moment in time. It was cruel of me to trick you like this, I know. But it was the only way I could get close to you. This was the only way I could reach you the way others could reach you. Please... Let me stay with you. I will do anything to protect you from others of my kind. If it means I could be with you for the rest of eternity. You're... you're hugging me back. Oh, you've made me happier than you'll ever know, my dear. 
my most precious of angels. My only truest of saviors. I love you. I love you so, so much. And nothing on this planet will ever keep you away from me again. And I will do whatever it takes to protect you, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth the risk. Nothing is worth the risk of losing you, my love. <laughs>